Hey guys, welcome back with the letter U. Today we're going to be working on our underwater fish drawing. So we're going to be working underwater today or under the sea. Um, I did ask for you first to start with a circle on your paper. So Chase has already uh, traced or has a circle there in pencil. You can go ahead and start tracing yours. Um, you want to use a bowl or a small plate or you can use a lid, something that is round to start with the fish the body of the fish. So I'm gonna trace this real quick right here. And if you already have yours traced, our next step is going to be to start the fish's body. So we can put that aside. We have a circle there, nice circle. Um, so with the fish, you first decide, is your fish gonna be swimming this way? Bloop, 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 towards Chase. Or is it gonna be swimming this way? Bloop, 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 bloop. Okay, so you decide, once you decide, you're going to draw a line that goes down the center or the middle of the circle. So I'm going to have my fish follow this fish because fish like to swim in pairs. So you can draw a straight line or you can curve it. It's up to you. Um, let's see. Chase, are you going to go straight or curve? Mm, I might go straight. Straight. So I'll give mine a little curve just so you show it. Chase, you go straight down. So now what that did was that gave us the face from the body. Next step, we're gonna give our fish an eye. So what we're gonna do is on the smaller spot, you're gonna draw one eye because your fish is gonna be swimming bloop, 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 that way. So we wanna give it one eye and then just sort of like a half a smile on the bottom. So for the eye, I like to make those cheeky eyes. So I'm gonna make a big eye and I'm gonna put this line here and I'm gonna draw this big oval on top for the eye. You can draw it any way you want. You just wanna draw a circle. You could just draw a circle. And then we have to draw the pupil. So that black dot that's in the center of the eyes. I like to leave that white glare on the inside. So I just always like to make that little eight on the inside. And I'm gonna thicken that up right there. So you can make it all black or you can add a little bit of white shine to the eye. It's totally up to you. I'll give you a second to catch up. And then our fish is gonna need a mouth good all right so as we draw the mouth or if you want to add eyebrows or eyelashes you could do any of that i'll make a girl fish so i'm going to add a couple of eyelashes right there all right so as we draw the smile or the mouth you can get creative or just draw a little line um if you're drawing in pencil you could draw a heart shape right here to make the um the uh the lips come out i'm just going to draw a line that comes up just like that so you can get creative if you want. Maybe it is a piranha and you want to draw a fish that has um, sharp teeth. So it's up to you however you want to draw. It could just be a line, a curve, or the mouth. All right, so fish, boys and girls, do have to breathe. They breathe underwater, as we know, and they have something called gills. So if somewhere on the bottom here, you can make, uh, I'm going to draw three lines for my fish gills. And that's usually where the air comes out and the fish can breathe. So I'll give you a second to do that. And then some gills so it can breathe. Next, we're going to add the fins. And the fins are going to go at the top. I'm going to draw maybe four, bloop, bloop, just like that. So I'm going to write up at the top. One, just little bumps. Two, three, four. And just right above where the body is. If you have room for one more, you can make five. You can make triangles. You can make um, half a circles. It's up to you how you want to draw the uh, fins. And we're going to make top and bottom. You can make them sharp. Two, three, four. So I'm going to make four on the bottom, four on the top. What are we missing? What do we need on the back of it, Chase, to make it go? Fins? We got the fins. The what? Oh. Tail? The tail. So as we draw the tail, this space, try to go out to the edge of your paper to draw the tail. So as you go out, just like we did the fins, you can, I'm going to start in the middle here and I'm going to go out and make this sort of U shape. So see how it sort of looks like my letter U? Boop. And I'm going to draw that. So if you need to turn your paper sideways, you can. Um, so I'm going to make them all touch. One U, two U's. Three Make four over here, and then I'm going to do five. They also look like fingers. Six. All right, so now it looks more like a fish. Very nice. 
So as you draw and as you color or as you design your fish, some things that you can think of um, at the bottom of the uh, ocean or the sea or wherever it may be, you can draw a straight line or a wiggly line. This could be for the sand. And then if you want to draw anything at the bottom, maybe like pearls or a treasure, um, jewelry, jewels, you can do anything at the bottom. If you'd like to add some seaweed or sea grass, you can just kind of come up with a couple of lines or maybe there's a piece of coral there. And you can get creative. Maybe SpongeBob's there from last week or maybe Patrick or uh, something fun that you would like to add. I like to add those little bubbles, so I'm going to add one bubble here, and then I'll add the other bubble there since I ran out of room for the drawing there. There we go. And then get creative with how you want to design it. If you wish to draw out your, um, before we do a little show and tell, you can make scales or you can make a line that goes straight down to make different patterns. They could go this way if you want to make patterns going that way or they can go this way. So if you want to design the fish uh, scales or body, I'm gonna just go straight down, I'll skip the gills. And there's a fish that's orange and white and has a best friend named Dory, so maybe I'll do that one. Do you know what that fish is called, Chase? Emo? Emo, he said emo, Nemo. So as we color, boys and girls, we'll get ready to play our song of the day. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy that for our letter U today. And as we get ready to share, make sure, boys and girls, that you turn your cameras on. Before we share our artwork today, if you want to, Chase, give us our Pokemon pick of the day for the letter U today. Yeah. Who is it going to be? Shiny Umbreon GX. It has a health of 200 and deals either 90 or 30 damage. Wow, fantastic. Beautiful card there. Umbreon for the letter U. Get ready to hold up your artwork. Turn your cameras on for me, boys and girls, and give it to me on three, two, one, show. Hold it up into the camera. Let me see what you have. Nice work. Looking good, friends. All right, we'll see you next time.